OK, just done League One. And uh, if you want to see the results of that so far up to this point, then check my little like button. You'll see everything that's going on there. OK, League Two. Uh, the contenders. In third place, Miles Weston, Gillingham. Tom Pope in second place, uh, Port Vale. And in first place at the moment, Naki Wells of Bradford. Got to say, Miles Weston, know a little bit about him. Know his dad from the area, come from Lewisham. Um, his dad was a massive fitness coach, really quick. Uh, he was an international teammate of Theo Walcott. He's doing very well for the Jills. I was speaking to uh, Martin Allen about him the other day and he said he's got a great attitude. He's doing really well. So obviously everything is working out for him at the moment. So good luck to Miles there. Um, in second, uh, Tom Pope, um, journeyman striker, Port Vale. And this is his, uh, what's this? Uh, this he's, I think he's been at Port Vale before. Uh, on this spell, I think he had a little bit of stick before for not scoring too many goals. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will. But he seems to be doing all right now. Uh, playing for his boyhood club, um, 25 goals uh, in the league. Unbelievable return. Well done to Tom and that. And Naki Wells, we've seen a lot of him obviously with Bradford's uh, League Cup run. And for me, really, really good player. Another player that apparently turned down Ajax. Why is everyone turning down Ajax? It's meant to be the place everyone's turning them down. But anyway, apparently he's turned them down. 14 league goals, looked sharp against Premiership opposition, um, took his goals well. Can't see personally him staying at Bradford for too much longer with the ability that I've seen him have. But at the moment he's in first place. But um, like I know it's up to you guys and we want, obviously we want you to keep him coming in. But no defenders, any, no outstanding defenders, goalkeepers. Um, Akin Fenwa, got to mention Akin Fenwa, not just because he's the heaviest striker and got to give him a, a plug. He sent me a t-shirt the other day, beast mode. Um, but I watched him play against the Dons earlier on in the season and he's massive, don't get me wrong. And we're talking about bulk of man, but he gets around the pitch and he scores goals. Um, he's a bit of a cult figure down there, top, top player down there. Maybe Addy, Addy can uh, blast himself in there into the top three, but I think there's three um, really good candidates there. I'm, I think they're going to do well to get past that Naki Wells because with this exposure he's had as well this season and as good as he is, like I say, can't see him staying at Bradford too long.